you start. So I'm Olivier Lafitte. I'm an applied math professor and a researcher in Paris North University in Paris, as well as being the head of a lab of mathematics in Montreal, Canada. Uh, I want to explain you very briefly and simply what I understood about the cellular cycle. That means what is the process which is behind the fact that one cell will, will give rise to two cells. And what I advocate is that it's a very simple thing because it's based on basic mathematical and physical results. And it must be so because it started three um, um, billion and eight million years ago, and it could eight hundred million years ago, and it could not be uh, f functioning during this whole time if it were not simple and robust. So let's explain what is robust in that. The first thing uh, which is important for a cell is that it has a membrane, and what is the use of a membrane? It's a limit. And it's a limit, it's a protective limit. It allows the cell to avoid interaction with the outside space and to allow sometimes this interaction uh, through holes, which are called channels in the membrane of the cell. So this membrane has a very precise role. In the first pass of a growth of a cell, the membrane uh, helps the cell which is growing to keep the same number of ions inside. And if you have the same number of ions inside, no ions go outside, no ions come from the inside, then it dilutes the ions. And diluting the ions will automatically change with no any other external uh, achievement. It will move the potential inside the cell and so will move the difference of potential between the inside the cell and the outside of the cell. And at one moment, it goes as when you uh, turn on the light. That means there is a sort of interrupter which opens the channels. And channels, iron channels are opened. And so in this case, uh, ions flow inside the cell and it can start the mitochondrial energetic process. Once this is done, this mitochondrial energetic process just uh, changes the concentration of calcium ions inside the cytoplasm, which will, in turn, move the uh, kernel of the cell to react to that and so to open. And then you have all the genetic material, all the DNA which is accessible and which can begin to be replicated. And this is the third part of the uh, growth of a cell. Once you have the double of the genetic material, it organizes inside the cell and then the cell can start its division. The only thing I do not understand in a simple way in this process is the division itself. Otherwise, all the other things I've explained are very simple from the physical and mathematical point of view. It's electrostatic first, then it's energetic processes with entropy, energy, volume and pressure, and uh, uh, acid and, and uh, electrostatic processes as well for the organization just before the division. And this is confirmed by ex uh, experiments, the experiments I know even if I did not design them, and also experiments on cancer cells show that the cancer cell does the same thing but in the wrong order. That means that when normally in a normal cell water, glucose and so on go inside the cell and dilutes all the ions, the cancer cells begin the process of energetic transform before uh, allowing ions to go from the outside. And so the concentration of ions H plus are very uh, reacting very differently in a normal cell 
in a, and in a cancer cell, showing that one of the steps is done before the other one. And this, in turn, will lead the cancer cell to grow more, much more than a normal cell. And so will disorganize totally the cellular cycle and will uh, proliferate the cell as well as having uh, not uh, homogeneous cancer cells, larger cells with boundaries which are much uh, less regular than for a normal cell. This is one of the proofs that the cancer cell acts differently than the normal cell from a physical chemical point of view and that if they reverse the order of things inside the cycle, then the cycle will be too much perturbed. Thank you for your attention. I hope you can get from that that biological mechanisms are very simple, are based on basic ideas of physics, are in physics you have four fundamental forces, and that uh, this can explain differences and research.